This is going to be lesson two, part B, and we're going to pick up with number nine, which is habit. Number nine is habit, H-A-B-I-T, and I can't, I'm having all kinds of issues, I'm so sorry. Habit, H-A-B-I-T, habit, H-A-B-I-T, habit, condition, appearance, or dress. D R E S S. D R E S S. And it didn't have to be a lady's dress. It could just be what, who, whatever anybody was wearing. Their uniform, their, um, just their dress. What they normally wear. I don't want to say costume because that's not. But like, what you would normally wear would be your habit. H A B I T. And then dress is your second blank for number nine. D R E S S. D R E S S. I do not know what's going on with the phone. Okay. So number 10, burgers. Number 10, your first blank is burgers. B U R G H E R S. Burgers. B U R G H. E R S. Burgers. <laughs> Josie's trying to catch flies again. Burgers or bugs. B U R G H E R S. And that was middle class townsmen. And that is T O W N S M A N. Townsman. Townsman. T O W N S. M A N S. Now it says townsman, but we say it townsmen, so I understand townsman. You know, we say it wrong. We we don't say it the way it's it's put on the page. So it's T O W N S M A N. Townsman. Okay. Number eleven. Girdle. G I R D L E. Number eleven. Girdle. G I R D L E. One more time. G I R D L E is your first blank for number 11. That is a belt or a sash. Sash. For the waist. Waist is your last blank for number 11. Waist. W A I S T. W A I S T. One more time for the last blank, second blank for number 11 is waist. W A I S T. <clears throat> number 12, caracal. C A R A C O L E. Caracal. And that's the only blank you have for number 12 is caracal. C A R A C O L E. <clears throat> number 13. Tumult. T U M U L T. T U M U L T. I don't know if I spelled it right that first time, so I'm going to do it again. 13. Tumult. T U M U L T. I, I kept wanting to put an extra T in there, so I'm so sorry. T U M U L T. Noisy commotion as of a crowd. Or uproar. Uproar is your second blank for 13. It's also the last blank. UP. It's another compound word. UP. R-O-A-R. -R, uproar. UP. R-O-A-R. -R. One more time. UP. R-O-A-R. -R. Uproar. Number 14. Samari. S-I-M-A-R-R-E. Samari. S-I-M-A-R-R-E. R R E. One more time. First blank for number 14 is Samari. S I M A R R E. And that's the French spelling. A flowing robe is your second blank for 14. R O B E. Second blank for 14. R O B E. R O B E is your second blank. Or long loose jacket, formerly worn by women. W-O-M-E-N, women, W-O-M-E-N, third blank for 14 is women, W-O-M-E-N, 
in the late medieval, medieval period. Number 15, canticles. Now remember, it starts with a capital C, unless, of course, you're already writing in all caps, and then it doesn't really matter. But it starts with a capital C. This is a proper noun. And it's capital C, A N T I C L E S. I'm afraid this video quality is not going to be good. I'm so sorry. C A N T I C L E S. I can see the color going in and out, in and out. And I'm, I apologize because of the lighting and everything being outside. It, I'm so sorry. Canticles. C A N T I C L E S. One more time. Canticles. Capital C A N T I C L E S. And that is your only blank for number 15, which is, of course, the same as Song of Solomon. Number 16. Ori. H O U R I. Your first and only blank for number 16. Ori. H O U R I. Last time. Number 16. Ori. H O U R I. And of course, that's a black eyed woman. Number 17. Kanji is your first blank. C O N G E E. First blank for 17 is Kanji. C O N G E E. Kanji. C O N G E E. And, of course, that is to bow in leaving. Leaving is your second blank. Leaving. L-E-A-V-I-N-G. Leaving. L-E-A-V-I-N-G. Leaving. L-E-A-V-I-N-G. And that concludes Lesson 2, Part B, <laughs> or Part 2, whichever I said. Have a great day. I love you, and I'll catch you for Lesson 3.